out of the question. They're not getting a title match. Not, not Ken Lucas and Dennis Hall because we've wrestled them twice, right? Twice already. Both times we beat them two straight falls in just two or three minutes every match. And they have the audacity to come up here and ask us for a title match. Well, that's, that's completely out of the question. Just scratch your name right off You're the list. You're going to scratch them off, right? Uh, no, no match with Ken Lucas and Dennis Hall. Now you got uh, the Avengers and the Patriots. I never heard of the Patriots. Have you ever heard of the Patriots? I don't know anything about the Patriots. Now, I've heard of the well, Avengers. If somebody you don't know anything about, you're scared of, right? Well, I tell you, now, that's that's not being scared. That's being smart. You never mess with anybody you don't know anything about, right, you know? Psychology, Jim. That's oh. right. So, I'll tell you what. You can just scratch out. Let's scratch out the Patriots there, too. That leaves the Avengers, right? Now, you ever heard anything about the Avengers? Just a little. Well... I'll tell you what, we've heard a little bit about these Avengers, and I think we can take them, so you can just go ahead and sign that match. We'll take the Avengers. Ken Lucas and Dennis Hall, that's out, and the Patriots, that's out. So you put it down against the Avengers. Is that uh, all right with you? It suits me. Okay. It suits well, you. I want to tell you people something. We are the Tennessee State Tag Team Champions, and we're not afraid to put our title on the line against anybody. Well, you can tell that. We're the we're two them wrestlers off. that's ever come into this area, and we hold the title now. We're going to hold it for a long time, and we'll give any contenders a title shot. Anybody that's good enough to get in that ring with us, with us, we'll give them a title match. But Lucas and Hall and the Patriots, they're not getting, they're not getting a title match because they're not worthy contenders. So uh, you put us down against the Avengers. You're, you're right? pretty good at contradicting yourself, aren't you? What do you, you mean? You, by that? You'll, you'll wrestle anybody, but you mark off half of them. You'll wrestle you? anywhere, anytime, boy. You're gonna look thin in those titles, we but then you wrestle, mark off. We'll wrestle all worthy contenders, right? Right. Well, we don't want any pushovers out there. Well, I That's think right. the Patriots are worthy. We don't want people out there like Ken Lucas and Dennis Hall because they don't give us enough competition. Right. Therefore, the match is not good enough for us. That's right. See, when, when the fans come to see our match, they know they're witnessing the greatest tag team that they've ever laid their eyes on. And we don't want to disappoint them by getting in there with somebody that's not worthy competition. So you put us down against those Avengers because they built up quite a name for themselves. We heard a lot about them up here in this area and all the people... All the people think they're pretty tough boys, so you just put them down there, and we'll show you this Friday night. We'll beat them two straight, just like we beat Lucas and Hall down there. You're going to put up the belts. That's right. We'll put up those belts against those Avengers, okay? You, uh, you may not have gonna, the belts. Actually, we're going to prove to the people of this area we're the greatest champions that's ever been in this part of the country. Now, I want to ask you another thing. I want to know who's, how you run this TV show here. We got two opponents out there that want to wrestle us, and you make me get in the ring with an idiot like Tommy Gilbert. Would you like me to explain it to you? That man is crazy. All these fans know he's crazy. Any man that go... Hey. What are you running for? The the ring, boy. Yeah. Hey, I ain't got to wrestle him again. Are you sure? Two, two out of three falls. I you, didn't agree to two you out just, three You fall. just lost one. Let my partner wrestle one fall. That no, means you're the, the man that accepted the challenge. My partner I'll wrestle one fall. I'll wrestle one fall. No. I'll wrestle one fall. Get on back in the ring, where you belong. Maybe you'll lose two straight, Mr. Lawler. You just lost one. All right, getting started here on his second fall, and Lawler says he didn't agree to go two out of three. But neither did Gilbert agree for him to come in and interfere with the match with Sam Bass. So now, Lawler out here trying to stay out of the way here of a man that's already beaten him once, one fall, and he could go for another one. Tommy Gilbert now. We've got four minutes left, so it looks like uh, Mr. Lawler better get real busy. I don't think he's going to do anything. There was a warp your head off hole on Tommy Gilbert. Gilbert now said, all right, if you want to box, we might as well get at it. He was trying to box, and I was telling Gilbert he doesn't want to. Into a figure four wrist lock now goes Tommy Gilbert. A little hair pulling now from Jerry Lawler. Comes up now with a arm bar on him, and D-Boy Brunson has caught him. Kicks the arms, he turns it loose, and Mr. Gilbert is ready for him. So Lawler now comes up again with a figure four wrist lock on Tommy Gilbert. More hair pulling to get his man down. And he got caught again. Kicks the arm. Up comes Mr. Gilbert. Boy, did he catch him with a work your head off hole and Lawler. Looks like Gilbert's a one man to ride. I believe they've got him upset. 
So now, into the referee's hole again they go. Into a figure four wrist lock by Gilbert this time. And he returns the favor, goes to Harrifull. Again now with an arm bar here from Jerry Lawler. Well, we're down to two minutes, and it doesn't look like Mr. Lawler has done anything yet. Time is running out here. So now here's Lawler standing on the hand here of Gilbert, stomping away on the arm. Still stomping away. One minute left to go. Well, Mr. Lawler better get on some kind of time unless he's, he's going to lose this match, what he's going to do. So now there is another stomp here from Lawler on Tommy Gilbert. Now Gilbert's coming back here. He's going to throw a few punches of his own and warp your head off over there on Lawler. And down he goes. Didn't even try for a pin. He's going to give him some more punish. But Brain Duster now. Now going for a pin. One. That's Mr. Lawler rolls Gilbert off of there. Another Brain Duster. And down he goes. Out of the ring comes Lawler. And Jim White comes in to help out again. I believe he's handed him something. He has handed him a chain. And now here's a chain. Time has run out. Time has run out here on this match. And Jerry Lawler has lost it. Tommy